Welcome back to Poems in the Time of Plague. Tonight, Marianne Moore emerged into the world in Missouri in 1887 and went back to ground some 84 orbits of the sun later. Her modernist style gives her poems unusual rhyming structures, if they have them at all. In 1955, she was asked by Ford to come up with a name for their newest car, which had been dubbed the E-Car. Some of her suggestions included Mongoose Civic, Resilient Bullet, and best of all, Utopian Turtle Top. Ford demurred and went with an old family favourite, the Edsel, which clearly solved all their marketing problems. Maybe Turtle Top would have fared better. Poetry. I too dislike it. There are things that are important beyond all this fiddle. Reading it, however, with a perfect contempt for it, one discovers that there is in it, after all, a place for the genuine. Hands that can grasp, eyes that can dilate, hair that can rise if it must. These things are important not because a high-sounding interpretation can be put on them, but because they are useful. When they become so derivative as to become unintelligible, the same thing may be said for all of us, that we do not admire what we cannot understand. The bat, holding on upside down, or in quest of something to eat. Elephants pushing, a wild horse taking a roll, a tireless wolf under a tree, the immovable cricket twinkling his skin like a horse that feels a flea, the baseball fan, the statistician, Case after case could be cited, did one wish it, nor is it valid to discriminate against business documents and school books. All of these phenomena are important. One must make a distinction, however. When dragged into prominence by half-poets, the result is not poetry. Nor, till the autocrats among us can be literalists of the imagination, above insolence and triviality, and can present for inspection imaginary gardens with the real toads in them, shall we have it. In the meantime, if you demand, on one hand, in defiance of their opinion, the raw material of poetry in all its rawness, and that which is, on the other hand, genuine, then you are interested in poetry. I think I got most of that. And a tricky one to read. But until next time, toodaloo.